Hello, this is Tom and today we're gonna do a quick overview about the double boomerang bracket. Um, the camera I chose for this is a Canon EOS 1DX Mark II. If you really want to save a lot of time post-processing, this is the camera for you. But in any case. So this is a beast of a camera. Uh, notice it has an integrated vertical grip. And we have um, flash brackets that are dedicated for cameras like this with the built-in grip. Or with the optional grip or battery pack or motor drive as anybody calls this. Okay. Um, then we also have uh, flash brackets designed for cameras without this extra grip or smaller bodies okay so first um, you know for the double boomerang system you're obviously gonna get a camera plate like this one then you're gonna get a flash bracket that goes on the left side this is the BBX and then in this model we have a flash bracket that goes on the right side this is the BBG the BBG has the distinctive cutout here for the vertical buttons I'll show you that later Okay, but this could also be a BBX on the right side, okay? And then we have a bunch of other accessories like a Profoto or um, just kind of light spigots for Profoto, Allen Chrome or others. Uh, we have big ones and small ones. Uh, they also come in black aluminum. We have a riser that allows you to lift up the, the flash mounting point by about two inches. Then you can mount the flash brackets actually on a clamp that clamp you know um, clamps onto the camera plate uh, we have some cold shoes um, we have uh, these are the pins for this uh, bbx flash bracket this is what allows you to lock it in place and then we have our strap system and the strap system works with plates it just snaps in like this or actually works with our bracket clamp as well snaps in place as well okay and this entire system is ARCA type compatible, works with our ball head and also works with other ball heads on the market today. Okay, first things first, we first need to mount the, uh, the plate, but since this is a double boomerang, we need to install these pins to the left side of the plate. This is the left side, goes on like this, okay? If you're installing these at home, use some sort of a wrench to get them nice and tight. Okay, they will install on camera like so. Align the mounting thread. Then use, use, uh, then use 5 30 second Allen key to tighten the mounting screw. Make sure the plate aligns correctly. So what you'll notice here is on the left side of the camera we have the mounting pins for the BBX bracket. The right side's clean because uh, this bracket attaches differently, okay? So uh, yeah, without further ado, uh, let's use the let's mount the uh, BBX flash bracket. Notice this is folded right now. It also has this riser already installed in it. Okay. Uh, if you want to install the riser for the BBX, um, just undo these two little screws, all the hardware comes with it, and then insert it uh, this way because the threads are on the bottom. And then just, you know, you can also position it sideways to fit your needs, okay? So we're gonna unfold it. That's this knob here. Just swings out open like so. Then it also, okay. Then we take it to the camera. Align the holes, snaps in place once again. It just snaps in this way. And then use this knob to tighten the locking system, okay? Tighten the locking system. Notice also here that we have a foldable kickstand, okay? Uh, but there's one more thing here. Using the uh, 5 30 seconds Allen key, what we want to do, we want to actually raise this up uh, because for this big camera, this is the optimal position for it. Just kind of find the middle of the lens here, okay? 
and then uh, tighten the screw so then it's nice and tight make sure this one's tight another cool feature of this bracket is the magnetic allen key storage the allen key just goes right in here okay so now we're ready to install the big brother the bbg flash bracket okay okay so this is the bbg flash bracket this here is the thumb screw that goes into the shoe the thumb screw comes standard okay and it's free to slide in here but first notice this is folded so you have to undo this knob then you have to flip it out this way okay this is the way it's gonna go and then tighten the knob notice you can slide it depending on how large your lens is to clear the lens I'm just gonna put it somewhere in the middle okay and you're free to install it right now okay so let's align the holes here if you can see okay I'm gonna show you one more time now, this is where it gets a little interesting let's do it this way okay so this is how this flash bracket will install the holes just go right into the holes of the uh, of the plate then use the thumb screw to attach it okay so now it's in this one also has a kickstand so you can have double kickstands okay and this is adjustable knob so you can put it outside uh, so it doesn't bother you okay so right now this is your double boomerang yay so on top of this you can install oh, you can install either the small or the big uh, spigot or a light uh, light mount uh, so it's um, these are specifically sized for the channel inside the shoe um, so they will not twist or turn on you okay um, so for comparison you can see the two here so depending on the configuration um, you know uh, of the options just want to show you all of them here you can have the this uh, the big one or the small one you have the, you can have the riser you can also install a cold shoe on top of it as well now we also have a tilting rosette system go ahead and I click the link below for the tiltable rosette system BLS3 that'll show you how you can tilt these to any angle front or back that's useful with soft boxes or macro photography okay so um, one other thing I'm gonna show you is how to install a cold shoe on top so we're gonna take this off the thumb screw is really nice and convenient so these are some really nice cold shoes these can be installed from the top with the screw or from the bottom okay in this case um, these on the flash brackets they only install from the bottom right uh, so you just align the mounting holes and you screw it in and they have anti-rotation built in once you install the flash on here lock the flash in place and that's gonna stay without twisting on you okay there you go this is how it works so here's the double flash boomerang okay oh, it doesn't even fit in this video frame okay so you can tilt both either way notice they don't really like each other up on top but I think you knew that already okay now this is also mountable onto any archetype ball head so you can swing these out of the way and you'll notice that this can just go right onto a ball head okay beautiful so right now this whole contraption you can use it vertically with two soft boxes horizontally however you please and also a really nice feature is a built-in port or receptacle for our strap system so this is it here so you see this receptacle so so with these plugs you can attach our shoulder strap system really effortlessly and in less than a second so you just have to press this button 
press this button, make sure it locks, check the connection and you're set. And then another great feature is that it's free to rotate. It will never unscrew on you, okay? Okay, so there are actually two ways of attaching these brackets. You can also attach them with the, with the mounting clamp. Okay, so we're gonna take one off. Actually, I'm gonna take both off for ease of demonstration. Okay, let me take this flash off. Okay, so what we have here is a BDX flash bracket. Um, and then we have a, the CB6 TV2. Uh, this is what we call a bracket clamp. This is a bracket clamp because it has ports on the side. So this bracket clamp can attach to the camera, uh, to the camera plate. And it works just like a clamp on top of the, uh, you know, the uh, tripod. Okay, so what we're gonna show you here is that we attach this this way. This is how I configured it. You can attach it like so. Then tighten the knob so they make a nice connection. And then you can actually use this clamp to mount onto other Arca type plates. You can also put in a secondary boomerang on the other side if you wish, okay? This is how it goes in. This here is also compatible with our strap system. That just goes right in, okay? This is the SS2 strap system. The link is below, okay? So you can just click that. But I can install this whole thing onto the camera really easily with this clamp, okay? Do it this way and boom. I have two flash brackets, okay? Once again, to take it off, I just undo the big knob. So boom, I can install this big system this quick onto this camera, okay? And if I want, I can actually, you know, adjust the positioning. I can adjust the positioning here as well. Okay, uh, notice there's really no way to install two flash types on top. So you're gonna have to use one on a side or both on a side or use a clamshell lighting. Okay, thanks for watching.